Okay, who wants to get started, please? Keith? Sky? One, two. There we go. Maurizio, how is it uh, how's it feeling to be back? First game under the belt. Normally pre season friendly is quite chilled. You looked a little bit feisty at half time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I think it was an action that uh, you know that should uh, play, but the referee stopped a clear contra attack. But uh, no, I think it's like always uh, um, pre season game. Uh, Yes, happy because of the attitude. Of course, that it's, a, it's about to improve now. Time to improve, but I think it's, it's part of the process. To um, in this period to to learn in the way that we want to to play, and, and of course to build the, the physical condition also. And I think is uh, I am happy with the with the performance and keep going. How pleasing was it to see Christopher and Kunku score? Yes. On, on, on his debut, and he looked good at, certainly in that second half when he came on. Yes, I think it's the most important now is to get good feelings, uh, restart again to play after the uh, holidays uh, or a period that we didn't play. All the players came in a different level, and now it's about to put all in similar level to try to compete for, for the thing that we want to compete. Uh, are there certain players who perhaps started the match tonight who are playing for their futures? They could they could stay here next season instead of potentially going out alone. I'm thinking about Ian Madsen, for for example. Yes, too many players. I think we need to assess and to analyse and see what uh, happened with them in the in the season. Uh, many th many decisions that we need to take, uh, but it's good to to have the opportunity to see. All these guys, uh, young guys that can show uh, their, their, their quality that we talked before, I think it's important for them and important for us to have um, a real uh, assessment. And, and for sure, uh, all have quality, only they need time and space to show they, uh, that they can compete for a place in, in, in this uh, football club. Maurizio, um, we saw um, Rhys James has not been with the squad, Maurizio, down here. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, we've seen Rhys James has not been with the squad, but he's, he posted on Instagram saying, see you soon, uh, America. So I was wondering, what's his condition and, and when will we see him? No, no, it's, 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 I think it's better. It's, I think he's, he's, he's flying soon and he's going to join the team but soon. And could I just ask one more? With Christopher Nkunku, he played up front as number nine. Um, is that where you see him, or is it just that that's how you're using the squad right now? Well, no, I think for the possibility today and the different players that we have uh, available, I think it's a position that, that we decide today uh, to use with him because we only have uh, uh, Jackson and, and him as the possibility to play like a striker. Hi, Mauricio. Hi. Uh, in the pre-match press conference, you said you were challenging the young players to take the opportunity to show that they can be part of your Premier League squad next season. Are there any players that stood out that managed to do that tonight? No, I'm happy with all. I think uh, always difficult the first game. Uh, 50,000 people or, or more. Always it's, it's difficult for them. The first game, the precision, uh, the condition, of course, uh, you, you can feel the... It was hot and and I think um, no, I am happy. We'll see what happened, what is going on in the next few weeks, and then when we come back to to England, we will decide um, the future of of this uh, young player that maybe have future here or some time, you know, maybe cannot be part of the of the squad, but for sure great potential for the future of the club. Hi, Mauricio. Hi. You um. Quite a lot of midfielders left have left so far in the summer, and, and we saw the Andre Santos getting his an opportunity, and Cesar Quesadilla. Do you think? Did you see performances there? There's been, there's been a lot of focus on them being young as well. Is it? Did you see performances there that suggest they can play at the level for Chelsea throughout the season? Today, I know it's early. Well, I think yes, it's, of course it's early, but uh, I think the profile is very good. The two names that uh, uh, Carney also and 
Mike and, and of course, uh, Casade and, and Andre, they have the profile. Only they need time. They are young, and, uh, and we, we cannot forget this. We are in Chelsea that the pressure and the demand always is, is to win. And of course, they need to have the place, they need to have time to, to evolve. And, but yes, the profile is, is really good. Hi, Maurizio. Hi. Um, what was the thinking behind Cucurella coming on at centre back um, for the kind of. Sorry? What was the thinking behind Cucurella coming? The thinking behind that it was only that Chaloa feels unseen in his Achilles, and we, the last five minutes, rather to play with 10, we play with, with 11. So nothing to do with Fafana's injury or anything like with? that? With? Fafana's injury? No, 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 no. Nothing. No. Ah, you are asking me if I am thinking in Cucurella to play central back. No, because Thiago feel not so 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 well, and mm -hmm. we cannot take a risk. And Cucurella was would play a few minutes. On against there. the rules, Mauricio. Sorry. It's not not against the rules to bring a player off and then on again. <laughs> no, we are we agree with, oh, okay. with with the with the referees and and the oh, okay. coach uh, of of Re, uh, Filippo of Rexham. Uh, if some some problem like this, we can, you know, okay, again. Yeah. To, yes. Hi, Mauricio. Um, You've had a bit of time now with the squad. It is a very big squad. Do you, do you feel as though you're now getting to grips with a lot of them and getting to know them? Because it must be quite hard to, to for that, that many players to, to learn to learn all kind of what their best attributes are. I don't understand properly the question. Which is the question? Sorry. That there are, it's such a big squad you've got. How, and wh where are you in terms of knowing their best attributes, their best positions? Because it must be quite hard as a manager to have so many players and to know very quickly how best to use them? No, I, I don't believe it's a big squad. We have a, a lot of players, of course, in the squad now and that travel with us, but, you know, many young players. Uh, but for us, it's, I think it's, it's not difficult. I think it's good for us to have all this player and, and the names that we have. Um, we can see, we can touch, we can, you know, uh, feel that they, if they can be an uh, important player for, for Chelsea. Uh, no, for me, it's in the opposite. I don't see that it's a problem. For me, it's a, it's, it's, it's a good thing that uh, we have uh, now. We can have players during this pre-season um, uh, seen and uh, um, evaluate also and see if they have potential for, for, the, for the future. OK, we've got the last one now to the gentleman at the back. What do you think of the atmosphere here tonight in the reception the fans gave you here? No, really nice, really nice. I think it was amazing. It was full, the stadium. Uh, thank you to, to our fans here in, of course, in, in North Carolina. And I'm uh, so happy to, to be here. And we really enjoy the, the, the game. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Oh.